All right, everyone, this is it. It's time for us to take on Ripto. All right, Spyro, you've got the orb. The feat of Ripto is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. Okay, let's take him on. Ripto. Hey, Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate. I highly doubt it. And now against Ripto. I have to say, Ripto is actually a pretty difficult boss. You'll see why. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Okay, Zoe, please tell me you'll never speak again. Anyway, we're against Ripto now. The pterodactyls will drop it. Uh, we have to grab the orbs before Ripto. We have to grab the color coordinated ones. Otherwise, our color will change. The colors will change. Come on. Yes. And now, fireballs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sheep! Uh oh. Can't let Ripto get the orbs. No! Not good. Alright, here we go. Sheep! Sheep! Alright, give me the orb! I want to show the other orb powers, but I might not be able to. Alright. There we go. So far, so good. Oh, I might be... Oh, hey, I do! Yeah, we get to lob shots now! But Ripto is pretty good at running. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch out. Come on, let's try and get the blue one, actually. Or let's. Not. Gee! I just suck at shooting. Right? Like I said, Ripto can actually be kind of difficult. Uh huh. Uh huh. Die! Alright, one more hit, and... Oh god! Blue. Now the blue one is by far the most annoying. Because it's basically a supercharge, because I'm probably not going to be able to show you guys it. Nope, Ripto got it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you guys it, so... Just take my word for it, it is a supercharge. And on to phase two. Remember, a final boss must have multiple phases, and he summons Metal Gulp. Which again, goes into my theory that he actually does not like Crush at all. Now, now he'll use Metal Gulp. Metal Gulp will eat the powered up orbs as well, so be careful. And it looks like he's, because Hunter is dropping them in the worst possible spots. Ah! Die. I'm hitting him back into an orb. There we go. Got uh No, 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 no. Give me the sheep! Yes. Wait, did he hit himself? Right? Right? There we go. As you can see, Ripto, he's a fun boss. Don't get me wrong, I love Ripto as a boss. Okay, grab the blue orb. But he leads his shots in, oh, I get to show you the blue. Ta-da. I don't like 
the supercharged one because it's annoying. No. I need sheep. I'll sacrifice an orb for a sheep. Right? No, 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 no. I shouldn't do this. In fact, I'm not going to. Ah! Really shouldn't have. He leads his shots. And we have to start all the way over again. Yes. They did this sort of thing with a boss. No checkpoints. Bad Insomniac. Bad. Mine. Give me. Die, die, die. Right? One orb. Right? And there's another orb right here. Now, I don't like using the blue power up. Oh, crud! I don't like using the blue one, especially when it's like right here because Ripto's so small. Although I think I got the most hits off. Right? Oh, oh crud. Oh crud. Oh crud. No, bad Ripto. I don't want you getting orbs. No, 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 no. Oh god. Whoop. 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 Yoink! Die! Stop dodging me! Nope. God dang it. Keep on getting hit. No. I love how he said no. Yeah, fireball's bad. Give me the sheep. Sheep more important than orb. Oh, that one was. Oh, okay, that one wasn't. Die. Now I need to kill that sheep. I wonder if the sheep's in the cutscene. Okay. All right, round two with Metal Go. And unfortunately, no, he does not summon a Metal Crush, which kind of depresses me. Wait, what the? Okay, I was about to say, what the heck? I have, wait, no, I have no, I have no sheep. Sheep, sheep. <laughs> Until give me more sheep, I will deal with Metal. Do not give the orbs to Metal Crush. Uh oh. I have to say that is a pretty cool power, but you know, Hunter, you're supposed to be helping me. Mine. Aha! Die! Alright. Blue. Another blue. And another blue. Blue! No, mine. This is pretty one-sided, ain't it? Mine. No, no, no. Mine. Die. Die. Yoink. Give me more sheep, Hunter. God ah, dang it. Sheep. Orb. And I need one more orb, but so does he. But this is mine. All right. Boink. Bonk. Bonk. Right? I need more sheep! There's a sheep. Fine. There's one over here. No! Oh, he's blocking it! Sheep! Sheep! Give me the sheep! Give me the sheep! I want the sheep! I love how my main concern right now is sheep. Okay, there is an orb for us over here. Right? And. There we go. That takes care of Metal Gulp. And he drops gold orbs. To which Ripto uses one of them and makes a giant metal bird, which brings to my theory that he had another form or something. I don't know. Anyway, now begins the last phase of the battle against Ripto. Where we must fly and attack him. Now this phase is annoying. Why? Because... We have no way to heal ourselves. And Ripto will be firing at us. But that being said, as long as we have keep on him like so. Come on. And if I didn't suck. This is where he's going to start trying to ram us. 
of fun. I love the Ripto battle. It's a lot of fun. It's not as difficult as the final boss in the third game. Oh my god, that boss is actually really hard. But this is really a step up from a lot of the bosses I've done in games. Like, this is actually pretty difficult. Eh, get away. Right? Well, mainly the difficult part, I think, is Metal Gulp. Metal Gulp is the annoyingly difficult part in this. The bird, not so much, because as long as you know how to avoid his shots, which I don't, and I almost fell into the lava, I should not be flying so low. Oh, I got him. Oh, dang it. Invincibility. Oh, now he's going on the outside of it. Did I get him? I don't know. I don't think I can hit him from outside there. I think I can. All right, only one more hit, and then Ripto is down. Which I should have beaten this the first time, but of course I done screwed up. Come on. There we go. And that is, you know, for going into lava, you'd think he'd scream. But there we go. That takes care of Ripto. And thus, the final boss of the game, and we are done. Thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? Nice! Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. All right. And there we go. Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage by Insomniac Games. I had to say, this was a lot of fun to do. It, I mean, it, my gripes with the game, as you guys know, is that it's way too short, in my opinion. And that's something that they cured in the third game just fine. They did, they just fixed that really, really well. With the third game, I think the third game improved a lot. Whether I'm doing that next or not, I actually decided no, I am not going to be doing that next. I'm going to be doing something else I had planned next. And you guys won't probably get that for a bit because I still have uh, Medieval that I'm doing. So if you haven't checked that out yet, go on and check it out at GameAnyone.com under Roxas1359. Um, and if you guys also subsequently haven't subscribed to the Escapist Communicast, I suggest you do that too, because, hey, it's a lot of fun to be on podcasts and do sort of things like that. But hey, I'm getting off topic. Let's get on to the game. Uh, the game itself really improved a lot on what Spyro 1 did, and that's why this is, to a lot of people, this is a fan favorite of the series. For me, it's not necessarily the fan favorite, but... But it is, without a doubt, the second favorite of mine in the series. My favorite is still the third Spyro game, Year of the Dragon. Which I'll do eventually. I don't know when I'm going to be doing that. So, with that, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. And he'll actually elaborate more in the finale video. That is actually coming up right after this. So, I'll see you guys next time.